Here we have a SAT math problem. Okay, let's go to the question. In the XY plane, a unit circle with center the origin uh, O contains point A with coordinates 1, comma 0, and point B with coordinates 3 over square root of 34, uh, comma negative 5 over square root of 34. If the measure of angle A, O, B is pi, uh, P radians, what is the value of cosine P divided by sine P? Okay, first let me draw the XY plane over here. Let me draw it. So this is X axis and uh, this is Y axis. And uh, now uh, let me mark the x-axis and y-axis over here. This x-axis, y-axis. And uh, so here I have a point here that is 1, 0. Let me mark a 1 over here. So then this point is on x-axis and it's 1, 0. That's a point A. And the origin now O is over here. Now let me consider the coordinates of the point B. It's over here. So the x coordinate is positive and the y coordinate is negative. Since the x coordinate is positive and the y coordinate is negative, it has to be in the fourth uh, quadrant over somewhere else over here. That is uh, three comma three, sorry three over square root of thirty four uh, comma negative five over square root of thirty four. Actually, this is a point uh, B. Okay. Now let me make a right triangle uh, over here. Uh, just a moment. Let me draw it. Okay, so here and from the point B, let me draw a vertical line to X axis over here. Okay, so let me take a, so here uh, we have right angle because it's a vertical line. And also the question says a measure of angle A, O, B is a P radians. So A is over here, O is here and B is over here. So A, O, B means A, O, B. So this angle measure is a P radians. Okay, now let's consider the side which is opposite to this angle P. So then this side is called the opposite side and uh, this side is uh, opposite to the right angle. So this is the hypotenuse in this right angle and the name of the third side over here is uh, adjacent side. Okay, now let's consider the x coordinate of the point B over here. This gives the horizontal length over here. That is the length of the adjacent side. That is 3 over square root of 34. And let's consider the y coordinate over here. From this y coordinate, we can get the length of this uh, vertical line segment over here. When we solve this kind of trigonometry problems, uh, we can take this negative value as the length. So usually we don't consider the negative value as the length, but when we solve this kind of trigonometric problems uh, with uh, like uh, x, y plane, we can take this negative value as the length uh, of this uh, vertical length. So the length of this uh, opposite side is uh, negative 5 over square root of 34. Okay, now let's go to the question. Uh, our aim is to find the value for cosine p divided by sine p. Okay, now let me take this one, uh, cosine p. Uh, divided by sine p using the coefficient identity in trigonometry. So the result of uh, dividing cosine p by sine p equals to cotangent p. And cotangent is the reciprocal uh, ratio of uh, the tangent. So we know that uh, according to Sacchetto, the tangent is equal to opposite side by adjacent side. But if I have cotangent, it's a reciprocal trigonometric ratio of tangent. So to get the, the formula for cotangent, we have to flip this one. That is adjacent over uh, opposite side. So the cotangent P equals to adjacent uh, side over opposite side. So here, what is the length of adjacent side? That is 3 over square root of th uh, 34. Let me write it. And uh, what is the length of opposite side? That is negative 5 over uh, square root of 34. Let me write it. Okay, then we get... We can take this fraction as it is, that is 3 over uh, square root of 34. And now we can change this division as uh, multiplication and we have to get reciprocal for this one. When I take reciprocal for this one, I am getting a uh, negative square root of 34 divided by 5. I just keep this negative sign as it is and get reciprocal for this one. Now this square root of 34 and square root of 34 will cancel. That is 1 times and 1 times. So here we have 3 and here we have negative 1. 3 times negative 1 is uh, negative 3 divided by 1 times 5 is uh, 5. Okay, now I got the value of uh, cosine p divided by sine p, its value is uh, negative 3 over 5.